Hello everybody, it's me, MC Castle Pug, and I'll be making a video and telling you everything that you need to um, get a hermit crab. To take care of a hermit crab. Okay, so first thing, if you're if you're on a low budget, then you probably want like a small tank like this one. You see this one? And it's actually really good if you get a small. Well, not that good, but it's okay because you won't have to buy them at Cypress Bedding. Well, I mean, you can use whatever. There's like Eco Earth, which you put in the chlorinated water, and you just uh, soak it in there for for a bit. You take it out, and then it's like dirt. But I use Cypress bedding. You have to use at least like a few inches. Mine is my hermit crabs, not that small, but he's small, so I didn't use that much. It's like a good two inches, I think. I don't know. So yeah. Um, that's one thing for yeah, and then of course you're gonna need your food and water. So you see, hermit crabs can't just use tap water; they need like fresh water. Need fresh water. Look, I'll show you it over here. I have this fresh water bottle solution. It says for hermit crab, but I also have. You can use fresh water. Well, I mean, it depends on your hermit crab. Some people like to use both just in case. Well, I mean, they do. Just because, like, sometimes they like to take a bath in there. And I got a fresh washer water conditioner. See, sometimes these aren't good. I just took a risk on this because, you know, I was getting a little bit impatient. So, yeah. But I would recommend using the, <coughs> the trusted brands like API. But the API one, it's not labeled Hermit Crab. The chlorinated, the, the hermit crab uh, freshwater solution. It's called uh, tap water freshwater solution. It's called a tap, but it's trusted. So, um, the next thing you'll need is some food. I got this hermit crab food right here, food medley. I mean, yeah, it says food medley. And, um, yeah, it's really good. I mean, I don't know what's good. I mean, I just use, I see I have some pellets in there, but I mostly use, like, the, like, the mealworms, the shrimps, and, um, yeah, I mean, that's what, that's what I mean. But, if you're, if, like, you know, this, this cost, like, about $3, I guess, if you'd, like, if you have, like, a lot of, like, um, like, bananas and stuff in your house, because this is what, Hermit crabs can also eat. They can eat um, bananas, chopped up bananas, carrots, unsalted, unsalted. Actually, no, 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 no. They can eat bananas, carrots, broccoli, cucumber, and I think that's it. I mean, they can eat more, but that's the one of my knowledge. Second thing, um, the third thing you need is shells. This is the most important thing because, um, you have to get some natural shells. You know, if you don't know what I mean, like, you know the painted shells with, like, footballs on them and stuff like that? The ones that people paint? See, stuff like this. Look, I'll get, I'll get these out. Oh, wait, let me see if I can grab some. Okay. Here's one. Here's another natural shell. I'll tell you in a bit why natural shells are better than painted shells. I'm trying to be careful. Oh god, there you go. So here is my last painted shell. I mean my natural shell. See how these are like not painted, they don't have footballs on them or anything? Well I'll tell you the reason why you're supposed to get natural shells. The reason why you need to get some natural shells is because painted shells are really bad for hermit crabs. Like you don't know how bad they are. They're like super bad. See, um there's a lot of horror stories. Of painted shells. So the first thing is painted shells. You know the paint they can chip off, and hermit crabs will eat anything they see. So when it chips off, uh, they're gonna be like, "Oh, food!" And then they're gonna take, they're gonna eat it, and this can be toxic for the hermit crab. And another reason is that well, one of my I subscribed to someone, and he's really cool. 
and he's uh, like an expert at uh, hermit clubs. And he was talking about a, a horror story that someone told him about. And it's about like her hermit, a girl's hermit crab had a painted shell on, and um, the hermit crab actually got stuck in the painted shell because the paint is sticky, and it died the next morning. She couldn't get it out. So yeah, that so never buy painted shells at all. And um, the next thing you need is a branch, like or like something to climb on. Like it can be a branch, but you. You have to get it from a pet store because, like, branch, you know, from outside, there's going to be bugs in there and bad stuff. So, yeah, I got this. It's not really, it's kind of like, it's a branch, but it's not like made from wood, I don't think. But here's the thing. Do you, I, I don't have a picture. I don't have one right now because, you know, it's bad. You see, you know, like, those mesh, mesh lids? Well, people, like, the people that make those things, I made something else for hermit crabs. And it's like a metal thing that they can climb on like there's like little bars like this but it's metal and the thing is they can rust really fast they rust really fast and they can get the hermit crabs can get stuck in there and they're gonna fall and they probably will yank the hermit crab out of its shell once it falls because it's like stuck to the little bars and it can amputate one of the hermit crab's limbs which means that it could basically take off one of the hermit crab's limbs, so yeah. Those are bad. Those are bad. So the last thing you need, well, sometimes you really don't need it, but I use it, is a hermit crab home. Uh, hermit, hermit crab home. See, he's inside there. He's dug up in there, and yeah. Um, you you need these because. Hermit crabs are nocturnal and they're active at night. So, like, see how he's not going out and like playing and stuff. Well, that's because um, they're not gonna and they're active at night. So yeah. <clears throat> so that is if you're on a low budget. All of that would cost you at least like thirty dollars, I think. At least thirty dollars, cause I know this one, this tank will fit like one of the little packs of cypress bedding that they have at like the pet stores. So now I'm talking about the uh, high budgets. Like if you have like a, lo a really high budget, like you have like a lot of money to spend. Well, hermit crabs only cost like five dollars, so yeah. But I have a ten dollar tank at home. I just didn't bring it because in my in my latest video, I talked about how ants got in there and ate the hermit crabs because it was on the floor. And uh, my parents are like cleaning out the tank and like chalking it and like cleaning it out to bake in like the hot sun until die. And yeah, so first you need a 10 gallon tank at a, a pet store, a pet store. There's like a stale called one dollar per gallon. So you can easily get a 10 gallon tank for ten dollars, but if it's not on that sale, they cost like fourteen or fifteen dollars because I've seen them at like Walmart and stuff. But other than that, then you also need a lot of cypress bedding because, you know, it's big, it's a giant tank. And hermit crabs need, like, a few inches of bedding. It's, again, you don't need, like, the cypress bedding. There's still a, a giant block of eco-earth. Like I said, you just soak it in uh, dechlorinated water. And dechlorinated water is basically fresh water. So, like, let's say I buy an eco-earth. I just put this solution inside water, and then I put inside a bucket and then I add water and it chlorinates and then I put an eco earth brick in and it soaks up the water and then yeah they have giant bricks of those but they also have small bricks for like tanks like this oh and um I'm pretty sure there's like 10 gallon plastic tanks well you, sh you should buy a glass tank 10 gallon glass tank because uh, you need a heating lamp if you are yeah like like I said I have a heating lamp but I need to I didn't need to pay for the tank or the heating lamp because my grandma gave it to me and I cleaned it out because it was from my old turtle anyway so yeah I need that and of course you need all the regular stuff but you're gonna need some plants if you want some decoration in there so yeah but like I said you need a lot of bedding doesn't matter well it doesn't matter I got the cypress bedding 
See, like that. You can get Igor spreading. Cal don't get calcium sand. Calcium is sand is bad. Has a lot of bad stuff in there. You can get regular play sand, which is like cheap. Or you can just get like sand for hermit crabs. But don't get the calcium sand, because calcium sand is bad. Anyway, here's the thing though. If you have two or more hermit crabs, then you know, well, hermit crabs molt. And when they molt, they molt inside the shell. After they molt, they're gonna need to change shells. So you need like natural shells, of course, four natural shells per hermit crab. Okay? So if you have two or more hermit crab, oh, by the way, I forgot. Hermit crabs will dig underground to molt. When they come back up, they'll probably change their shell. Changing shells take like at least one minute, I think. But molting can take a long time. It takes like, if it's really small, then it can take like a few days. But if it's like my hermit crab, it can take a few weeks. But if it's like huge, it's gonna take months. So yeah, you better be ready for that. Don't think that it's like digging and just like died there. Or maybe it did die, but if like you can like lift up a tank or something like that. Then you can, if you see if it's moving, then leave it alone. Don't try and dig it up, because then that can hurt the hermit crab and kill it. So, um, like I said, if you have two or more hermit crabs and one is molting, and it's done molting and it comes back up, you need to put that hermit crab in a separate tank, because the other hermit crab can kill it and eat it, because it's soft and vulnerable. Vulnerable. So you need like an isolation tank, like something like this, to house one hermit crab when it's when it's done molting and it needs to like harden the skin. So yeah. So yeah, that's really all the things you need for. Wait, I forgot. You may, if you have a high budget, like a high budget, you you can get a temperature uh, thermometer. I mean, if you get like a heating map, heating lamp, or a heating mat. So yeah, the temperature is supposed to be between 70 and 80, or 80 and 90, depends. But I suggest 70 and 80, okay? So yeah, and if also if you have a high budget, you can go every day and like spray it, mist it with the mister, and you can see the temperature. So yeah, I've seen people with like 500 gallon tanks, yeah, that. You need like to be like a millionaire for that, but yeah. That's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys get a hermit crab and use my advice. Oh, I forgot to say. Um, if you're gonna get a b pink bowl, don't get like one of the uh, a water bowl. Don't get like one of those little these little uh, shell things to hold it. That's just for my food. This is I bought this water bowl because hermit crabs will bathe in the water and also drink from it and if you get from that this um shell like don't get a little one because then they can't fit in there and if you move it it's probably gonna fall very quickly and then that's what get in it so yeah oh and i forgot you need to change your food every day because if you don't ants will get in it too and you need to like put it on one of these shelf things like a drawer you see this one my hermit crab is on this one, but I just moved it over here for the video. So yeah, that's all. That's all for the video. Hope you guys get a hermit crab and keep it healthy for my advice. And yeah, by the way, PetSmart or PetSmart or whatever, Petco, they're really bad because I saw, I saw, I went the other day to get my hermit crab.